Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am really nervous a little bit about today's video because I am going to do something that's been very, very, very much requested, which is a full face of makeup using drugstore products. Now, I typically don't use too many drugstore products, not because I don't like them, but just because I find a hard time actually finding things that work for me. I'll use things like lip products and like color products, but as far as like, complexion products i'm not super 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 familiar with the drugstore world if that makes any sense but i have pulled tons of products that you can find at like a drugstore or products that are super 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 affordable as far as like the price point comparable to drugstore brands and yeah a lot of these products i've used a lot of them i haven't so it's also going to be kind of like a first impressions kind of video i've consulted with some of my friends that know and have extensive knowledge when it comes to drugstore products. So I'm hoping that everything that I have in front of me is going to work. And yeah, so it's gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna say a little prayer before I get started. And yeah, let's get started. I started with just a little bit of this Vaseline on my lips. I actually keep this in my bathroom. It's so cute, they sent this to me with my name on it. And I just kind of put that on my lips just to moisturize. The moisturizer that I'm gonna to use today is one that I am obsessed with. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. And this baby right here, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know that I am obsessed with this moisturizer. I love it for a lot of different reasons. A, it is so, so hydrating on my skin. I love anything that's gonna just really plump and moisturize my skin, and I feel like this moisturizer just does that for me. What I really, really love about this also is that it has hyaluronic acids. So it's just going to just kind of hydrate your skin throughout the day, um, and it's gonna keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. And especially with like the summertime and you know, the sun being so just in your face always, it's nice to have a lot of hydration. This is something that I would recommend you use morning and night. I absolutely love it. This is definitely one of my favorites. I also love that this moisturizer doesn't feel too sticky. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that with moisturizers feeling a little sticky, especially if they're hydrating moisturizers. This just really soaks up into my skin really beautifully. <sighs> feels so good. They also have this Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. I like to use the serum at night and then I'll use the moisturizer during the day, but they're both really, really, really great exceptional products. So definitely pick this up if you've kind of been eyeing it. For my primer today, I'm gonna to use the NYX Angel Veil. I've used this product before and I really, really love it. It's super, super inexpensive and affordable and it just performs so well. I use very, very, very little and I'm mainly going to use it on my T-zone where I tend to get a little bit more oily. I kind of want my cheeks to stay a little bit more dewier. So we're just gonna pop this baby on right in here. I don't know if you guys can notice on camera, but my T-zone compared to my cheeks looks a little bit more matte, which is exactly what I want. I want my T-zone to kind of stay under control and I want everything else to look a little bit more dewy. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the infamous L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I picked up shade 207 and 208. Wish me luck because I'm not sure what color I really am. So I think I'm gonna kind of blend both and just kind of see what happens. I'm gonna do that by just applying some on the back of my hand. 207 looks a little light, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this 208. You guys know I love to look extra tan. Can we just take a moment for these collarbones making a cute little cameo today? All right, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just stipple this on. Let's see what this is giving me. I've heard so much about these infallible foundations from L'Oreal, whether they're the matte or the glow, like I literally hear that they are amazing. So I'm excited to try these. I do like the way that it's blending out. I definitely can say that the actual foundation moves really, really nicely with my beauty blender. I do feel like the color is a little light. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that 208, which is the more tan looking color although it's not translating super tan on me as I thought that it would. You guys don't understand how hard it was trying to get this together with figuring out what products I was gonna use because again, like I'm not a huge drugstore shopper. So I just kind of picked out things that I thought looked pretty. <laughs> so I'm just hoping everything works. I definitely feel like this matches my chest. It, it is a little bit more fair than what I normally like to be. You guys know I like to look a lot more tan 
but we're just gonna roll with it and make it work. I definitely do like the finish though, and I definitely do like the coverage, I can definitely say that. Just seeing it perform, I like the finish. I think the coverage is great. I feel like if I wanted to build this up a little bit more, I could. I'm going to take these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealers. I'm gonna use these to kind of highlight and contour, kind of like what I normally do, cream highlights and contours. I'm gonna use the shade Deep to try to get some warmth back to my skin since I kind of feel like the foundation is a little light. So I'm just gonna add this where I normally would contour. And I'm strictly doing this just to kind of add warmth to my skin since I feel like that foundation was a little too light. And I'm just gonna use the bottom of my beauty blender. This will just kind of start to warm up our face. This concealer is supposed to be really, really good because it's also supposed to be really, really hydrating. It also contains hyaluronic acid. Any products that have hyaluronic acid is definitely good in my eyes just because that just means that it's gonna be super, super hydrating. And I mean, your skin needs hydration. I love the way that blended out. And it definitely added that warmth back to my skin that I needed. I think it looks so pretty. I'm very impressed with these. I'm gonna add a little bit more on my cheeks. Perfect. So I'm going to take a lighter shade to highlight my face. I wanted to show you guys before I kind of start to blend it, but if you guys look in the middle of the concealer, there's like this little white little tube going through the concealer, if you will. And that's supposed to be super, super hydrating and moisturizing to the skin, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna use a combination of the medium and the fair shades to kind of highlight and conceal. I'm going in with the medium first, mainly to kind of more or less conceal. They're super creamy, which is nice. It's a nice plus. You guys know I'm so used to my shape tape, so not using shape tape. I'm like, I'm kind of freaking out, but I have faith. And again, this is my first time using these. I've never used these before. I especially like the fact that they have the hyaluronic acid and they have that like hydrating stick down the middle of the concealer because if you think about where it's going predominantly underneath your eyes, your eye area always needs hydration and that's what really keeps like that eye area nice and smooth and nice and kind of, you know what I mean? Just really snatched, if you will. So it's great that it has so many hydrating properties because it'll really help to keep those under eyes looking extra snatched. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I'm pretty shook as to how great this looks. I'm gonna go in with the fair shade now and I'm gonna kind of mainly apply this towards the inner corners of my eye, kind of where I just want a little bit more brightness, if you will. I'm gonna use that same beauty blender. You guys, and I feel like the coverage on these is really, really good. They're definitely buildable because I did notice the coverage kind of kick up a little bit more with layering the two shades. So that's always nice to know that you can build a product because there's some products that are just kind of like light and sheer and that's all you get. So it's cool to kind of have the option of wearing something light and sheer or building it up. There's definitely a handful of concealers that I can think of that are higher end concealers that these perform better than. And that makes me a little shook because it makes me feel like, is there a whole world of products that I, I have been like neglecting and not, you know, having in my life? Okay guys, don't be mad at me. I'm gonna cheat with one product and that's my RCMA setting powder. The only reason why is because I could not find a setting powder for the life of me that I thought would work for me and my complexion. So I'm gonna have to use this one. Don't hate me, don't be mad at me. It's like the only thing that I'm gonna use that's not drugstore. But it's definitely not like high end, you know what I mean? It's definitely like more of an indie brand. So it's not really cheating. And I'm just pressing this underneath my eye area right where that concealer was placed. You guys, I'm still really shook at this concealer. Like just seeing the way that it's setting, especially with this setting powder over it, I'm just kind of like, she's really cute. Okay, and since I'm not gonna take a foundation powder and kind of set the rest of my face, I'm just lightly going to stipple just everywhere else, just super, super, super lightly. 
not anything too crazy. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use my go-to Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm gonna use this bronzer from The Bomb Cosmetics. This is in the shade, take a dip. She looks like that. So I'm just gonna pick some of this up and just go over where I normally would go. I think The Bomb Cosmetics has such cute packaging. Come through drugstore, making me look snatched. All right, so I feel really good about this. I'm loving the highlight, I'm loving the contour. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyes. I found this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. This is called Shadow Lock. Never used this before. I'm hoping she gives us what we need. She's a little bit more liquidy than I would like her to be. So I'm just gonna use her with my finger just to lightly kind of apply that on my eyelid. I'm hoping she doesn't sabotage us. So I picked up this CoverGirl True Naked Goldens eyeshadow palette. I thought the colors were so beautiful. There's tons of beautiful gold and bronzes, and it totally is up my alley. Again, I'm going to do something a little bit more light and neutral. I'm going to use this NYX blending brush. This is brush number 16. And I'm going to go in with this third shade right in here, which is kind of like a light gray brown shade. I'm going to apply this all over my crease. And again, for the eyes, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I kind of want to keep everything super soft and neutral. I was mainly really excited, you guys, to try all of the skin products, like that concealer, that foundation, and I'm really happy with how they performed. I like how light this shade is. Just kind of creates a really soft contour in my eyes. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And when I do this, I literally am just moving my brush in a side-to-side -side motion. Just because I think it would look really good, I'm also going to take some of that bronzer that I used on my face. And I'm also going to apply this in my crease just to deepen it up a little bit. And sometimes I love using bronzer in the crease because I feel like it just creates more of a cohesiveness when it comes to your makeup. Like everything just looks more, a little bit more monochromatic and a little bit more together. Come through bronzer as eyeshadow. These little babies that come in these palettes, they just always tickle my pickle. I'm gonna use it, cause I'm gonna apply it on my lid and I just wanna use it. Um, I think I'm gonna pick up this kind of golden shade right in here. I'm gonna just sweep it on my lid. I've not used one of these in forever. I will however say though, they do come through for a little lid swipe. You know what I mean? Getting in that corner. And that in no way, shape, or form is shade to anybody that does use these. If you can use these and do like a full blown, like smoky eye, cause I can't do that. <laughs> Maybe that should be a challenge. Do your full face <laughs> with one of these. That would be funny. Okay, okay. Not mad at the pigment. She's giving you daytime realness. I'm gonna spray some of this Pixie Makeup Fix spray on the little shebang bang, just to see if that'll kind of make it look a little bit more foiled. Done. Like I said, not mad at it. So this is definitely the vibe, definitely daytime, definitely not doing too much. And I feel like to the average person, that, you know, is just kind of looking to, to learn how to just throw something on, like if you're gonna go to work or if you're gonna just like run errands, something like this works perfectly. I'm also gonna take the bronzer and apply a little bit underneath my lash line with my smudge brush. Under eyes are still slayed, just saying. No creasing happening. Love that this bronzer is a little bit more Mauvey, if that makes sense, compared to, to how warm and orange toned my MAC bronzers normally are, which I love that look, but this definitely looks really, really awesome as well. It's just a little bit more different than what I'm used to. All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I popped my lashes on. I'm gonna kind of conceal the lash band a little bit more using this NYX Slide On Glide On pencil. This is in the shade, it's the one I always use, Jet Black. And I'm literally just gonna line 
the inner rim of my eyes at the top. This feels really weird and it took me a while to get kind of used to, but it really makes the world of difference. It makes that lash line look more unclackable, and that's what we want. For my mascara today, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. You guys know I love this baby. And I'm just gonna place it on kind of more of my natural lashes to kind of make them blend with the falsies. And I'm also gonna use it on my bottom lashes. So the same reason that I like this mascara is also the same reason why sometimes it sabotages my life. Because when you take it out of the container, sometimes the mascara kind of does get a little kind of clumpy. So as I'm working on my bottom lashes, I like the density. Like you guys can see, it kind of just kind of clumped and creates like a nice cluster. But at the same time, you have to be careful with that because sometimes it can sabotage you and kind of stain the bottom of your eyes. All right, so for my highlight today, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. She looks like this. When I was shopping, I was like, ooh, this looks really, really pretty. So I picked that up. Before I actually apply it on my skin, I'm gonna spray my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to see what she gives. She looks really, really pretty in her little container. Mm. Come through, wet and wild. You guys, I'm really impressed. Like, very impressed right now. She kind of slayed my life. Not kind of, like, she slayed my life. I don't know, you guys, she might be giving that Maybelline Master Chrome a run. Master Chrome by Maybelline was actually the highlighter that I was gonna use for this video, but since I've used it in other videos, I was kind of like, mm, let me just try something else. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Don't sleep on Wet n Wild. The shade is so pretty also. It kind of reminds me of Illuminati a little bit. And you guys know I'm gonna apply a little bit up here. <laughs> I'm shook, this is like super blinding. For my nose contour, I want something a little bit more ashy. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Bronze Palette and I'm gonna use this shade right over here at the end. Of course, you guys already know my JD Weighty 180 brush. And I'm just lightly just gonna snatch her up. Just really lightly. And with another brush, I'm gonna go in with that Wet n Wild Gold Bar and highlight down the bridge of my nose. Also gonna apply some at the tip of my nose. And I'm also going to apply some on the inner corners of my eyes. On my lips today, I'm gonna be using this NYX Lip Lingerie. She looks like this. And this is in the shade Lace Detail. I love these because they are so pigmented and they have really, really great colors. They are a little drying, so I definitely recommend that you use some type of lip balm underneath, which I already have on. And on top of this, for my gloss, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer, and this is in the shade 64 Unreal. This formula, you guys, is unreal. Like, it's so good. I actually had to grab this out of my bag because it was in my bag because I love it so much. Such a lightweight formula. The color and the pigmentation of the color is so bomb. This is one swipe, you guys, one swipe. And this applicator, really, really, really unique, and I love it. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is I just wanna add a little pop of color on my cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. blush palette. This is in light, and I'm just gonna take this shade right up here on this corner. She's kind of like a neutrally peachy kind of tone, so I'm just gonna take some of this just pop her like on the apples, brush her back. Just by looking at the shades in here, I thought the shades were really, really great. Like how this looks, I honestly thought it was gonna look a little bit more powdery and I'm not throwing shade, but it looks really nice. I like, I like what it did for my cheeks right now. The last thing I'm gonna do is gonna set my face with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Never used this before either. You're supposed to just kind of set your makeup and make it last all day. And that pretty much completes this look. Again, I just kind of wanted to go for something a little bit more easy, a little bit more everyday, something that didn't take too much effort. 
I just want to thank you guys so much for really kind of suggesting and pushing this video because I've gotten requests for it like on my Snapchat, on my Instagram, on my YouTube. It was something that I was kind of really nervous about. I don't know why. I think anytime I use products that I'm not used to using or that I'm not familiar with how they perform and how they work, I'm a little kind of like, because, mm, you know, I'm, I'm so used to like the things that I love. But I'm really, really glad that I did this and I think that I'm going to be a lot more open to using products that I normally wouldn't gravitate towards because I am pleasantly surprised with a lot of the things that I used. I would definitely say out of everything that I used today, the one thing that was like the breakout star was these um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealers. I'm definitely going to throw these in my makeup kit because I love the way that they look. I think that they did an amazing job with them. And of course, you guys already know I'm obsessed with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. I had fun. I'm not going to lie. This was really, really awesome. It was a fun little challenge. If you guys like this type of video, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. And I've also been kind of thinking of doing videos where it's like one brand instead of using like multiple brands. It's just like one brand full face. So let me know if you guys like that idea. And if you do, let me know what brands you guys would want to see that with. Before you guys leave this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications so that you guys get alerted every time I post a new video. If you're not already, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Make sure you guys are following me on Snapchat. I'm obsessed with this look. I definitely can't tell that it's like drugstore products. I think that this looks how I normally look, which is awesome. Like that's really what I was going for. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.